Hi, I'm Tony Bollock, Senior Program Manager at Microsoft. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to get started with OpenGL ES in Visual Studio 2015. We've just released a new project template for Visual Studio that will create four projects within a solution, one for Android, one for iOS, one for Universal Windows Platform, and a shared project that's referenced from the other three that allows you to write your OpenGLES code once and reference it from your three different projects for your three different platforms. Before we get started with the demo, let's take a quick second to introduce Angle to those that aren't familiar. Angle, otherwise known as another native graphics layer engine, is an open source project started by Google about five years ago with the goal of allowing OpenGL ES content to run on Windows. It does amazing things by translating the OpenGL ES API calls and structures, converts them over to DirectX 11 structures, and then passes those instructions to the DirectX 11 renderer. More background information on the project, on the architecture, and definitions can be found in my Build 2015 talk. You can search for that via Bing. You'll find it on channel9.msdn.com. One question you may have, does Angle use Direct3D 12? Not at this time, but we have it on the backlog for the Windows Store version. Now let's jump into the demo. I'm going to open up Visual Studio 2015, and from here we're going to create a new project. File, New, Project. You'll see here that I already have the template installed. If you don't have the template installed, as I'm guessing many of you don't, We'll collapse the install section and we'll go to the online section. We'll do a search here for OpenGL ES and we'll come up with this project template. From here, we'll give it a great name and create our solution. Don't be intimidated by what you see on the left side here in the uh, Solution Explorer. We're going to collapse the Android application, iOS application, and Windows Universal application. And let's focus on the libraries that these applications use. There are four libraries, one for each platform-specific app, and then the fourth one being a shared project. Within the shared project, this is where all of your OpenGL ES rendering code is going to live. By putting it here, you get to write it once, and you get to use it in all three different flavors of your app. I'm going to set this to run as a universal Windows app, and I'm going to hit Run. I will build them. And once this finishes the compilation, what we're going to see is the standard spinning cube. Notice that I didn't have to write a single line of code to make this happen. This has the framework for rendering this cube. If you're a beginner, this is a great way to start. If you're a seasoned veteran, this gives you the framework to be able to move your code over. Uh, we'll take a quick look at simplerenderer.cpp and we'll see here's our GL code itself shader compilation, program compilation. Later on, it'll define the, the triangles for the cube. And finally, the, uh, the draw calls. That's it. It's really that simple. For more information on Angle, you can check out our GitHub site. For the NuGet package, we have links for that there. And to download the template for Visual Studio 2015, you can download the template at the link you see here. For more information about DirectX in general, here's the different ways that you can uh, get the information. And finally, we'd love to get your feedback on future video topics. We have a couple ideas in mind, but we want to know what you want. So don't be afraid to leave comments on the video and let us know. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.